This episode was previously recorded in front of an imaginary studio audience. Time for fun, laugh, Friday! Hi, <laughs> all you knife chatters out there. Tobias gave me this knife, said uh, I could hang it in the volcano club. He said it was a dive knife. I'm thinking, that, that's kind of crude. Well, he's trying to insinuate that the volcano club is some kind of cheap dive. This is a Winoka Sequest Dive Knife. It isn't even mine. It's got some guy's name on it. It says Blackie Collins. It's Blackie Collins Knife. I don't know why he gave it to me. But anyway, I guess he thinks it belongs in the Volcano Club because it's a dive knife. But that ain't what I'm here for today. Anyway, welcome to the very first Best Of... What's the show called? Ah. That would be Fun Night Friday, Skip. Very first best of Fun Night Friday. Yeah, that's right, boys and girls. It's Fun Night Friday time, and this is a best of. Now, what we decided we'd do is we go back and look at all the other Fun Night Fridays we've done so far. Believe it or not, this is volume 15. This is our 15th Fun Night Friday. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like those record companies do. You know how like after a, uh, a band, they put out four albums, they come out and decide to do a best of, and they take uh, songs from those other four albums, and then they put them on one album. They take one or two songs of the, off of those other albums, put them all together, make one more new album, and basically make more money off the songs they already recorded. Wait, no, that isn't what I'm trying to do. I'm not just trying to take old content and refurbish it and make more money off of it. That isn't what the idea is here. What the idea is, I want to show you five, five episodes, parts of five episodes, five, five episodes, parts of five episodes that I've done in the past and what we're going to do is just show little snippets of them. And then you get to vote on which of those you think is best. So we've got five different episodes out of the 15 that we... Well, this is the 14. This is the 15. we got five episodes out of the 14 we already did. Wait, there's also that one where Tobias filled in for me. we got five episodes out of the 13 episodes that we recorded for Fun Night Friday. Starring me, skip the show, and well, here's the knives that you're going to be seeing in it, and then we want you to choose which of those five. I got to get this out of my hand. Distracted. I hope I didn't break it. Better not have. It's a dive knife. Anyway, got these five knives that we're going to show in the episode coming up. Little snippets of each episode from the past, but just to recap. We got the high roller. Yeah, buddy. And we got the, ooh, what's this one? Yeah, remember this one? Luck be a lady tonight. Is that gonna focus on there? Let's get her to focus. We had problems focusing her before. The luck be a lady tonight. Our naked lady stiletto. And of course we got the Navaha. Giant Navaja. And who could forget the big bad cougar? Yeah, the cougar knife. We always need a big old cougar hanging around the volcano club. And this is a great one. The big bad cougar knife. And finally, the old fun we got at the pot metal and plastic pawn shop, the Undertaker 3 buoy, plus all those other knives that we talked about in this video, the pawn shops and five budget uh, fixed blade, no, five budget folding locking knives or something like that. I couldn't get it straight then, I sure can't get it straight now. Well, believe me, I can get it straight, especially when you're talking Undertaker buoy. Anyway, these are the five knives we're going to be talking about. 
want you to vote on it in the comments which of the videos you like best and which of the knives you like best. And this is a knife that was designed by, I think, Brian Wilhoyt of SMKW fame. And here we got it, right there. Now, Brian didn't design this sheath. This sheath was actually made by Tobias. So that's kind of cool too. But would you look at that? Nice little boot dagger for all you high rollers out there. Got them six dice on there so you could go play a game of Yahtzee or hit the crap tables with this knife. You won't crap out with this one though. Look at that nice little dagger blade. See that? Now that backside is just flat. I don't know what you call that kind of grind. I'm not the knife guru, but I tell you what, I know a fun knife when I see one, and this is a fun knife. Got a brass guard, got all those six dice on there. Got a brass tip here with a little red jewel on the bottom. And then you got that blacked out murder blade going on there. What's not fun about that knife? And if that's not cool enough, Tobias ditched the uh, crappy nylon sheet that this knife came with and made one out of leather. Now he cut down some kind of sheet that he bought and then he cut out some area and put on two little dice there. One of them's a four and a three so you can go out in here and hit the crap table. And then if you see down there at the bottom, he actually cut into the leather and put on the black jack symbol on there with the ace of spades and the jack there. But the cool thing though is right there. That black jack international high roller. That name of it is cool. How can you not have fun saying high roller? And there you have it, that nice dagger. Slipping into that old sheath here. Gotta get in there right. Slip it into the sheath. Got good snag on it. Doesn't fall out or anything else. Hook it onto your boot so you can pull it out there, you know, with surprise. I got my dagger. Or you can put it on your belt sheath. Hook it on your belt. So, got your dagger ready. Yeah, there you go. The high roller. It's Fun Knife Friday, and have I got a pocket full of fun for you today. Actually, I got two pocket full of fun. Do you want a little fun, or do you want a lot of fun? But well, let's start off with a little fun, and that's right here. A little Spanish Navaja. This one's made in Spain. Look at that. Is that not pretty? It's got, a, like, horn handles, and it's all brass and everything, and you open it up, and the blade locks because of this little lever latch up on the top here. You push on that lever and the blade releases. It's a really cool looking knife. And I thought I'd show it to you because, well, it's a little bit of fun. I like this knife, it's a little fun. But you know what, it's Friday. And on Friday, I wanna have a lot of fun. I don't know about you, but I want big fun on Friday. And so I got another knife for you. And I tell you what, it is a true pocket full of fun. And it's right here, it's a Navaja. But it's a big one. 12 inches closed, 10 inch blade on this sucker. And did you hear that when it opened? Let's listen to this. You hear that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine clicks. That's because this thing ratchets open. It's a ratcheting Navajo knife. And when it locks, it locks. Just like the original do. But this is a big old store display model. I think it's by Rebel Edge. But man, is that not nice and awesome and fun. The biggest. If you got a big knife, you're gonna have more fun than when you got a small knife. Right? Ain't that what they say? Big fun in a big old Navajo. Woohoo! Hear that? Oh man, this is so cool. You could just ratchet this all day long, but you know what? Back in the old days, wasn't always a lot of fun with these knives because the people who were carrying things like this, especially the ratcheting ones, you'd hear that sound. And that meant you were in trouble because 
you're on the wrong road in Spain, and some bandit's about ready to rob you, and you're probably not going to be walking home very long, because you're going to be on the side of the road dead, and someone's going to find you. So, that's where they got the reputation for being a bandit knife at. But boy, is this one fun. I want to have a lot of fun. I don't know about you, but I want big fun on Friday. And so I got another knife for you. And I tell you what, it is a true pocket full of fun. And it's right here. It's a... It's a... And it's right here. It's a Navaja. But it's a biggest. I ain't got that one, but I got something just as fun, and it's in this pocket, and it is a Navajo figure. The one time I need to get it to flick out right, and it doesn't flick out right. It's a Navajo. One, one click. <laughs> two, two clicks. <laughs> Three, three clicks, and then he's like, who cares? I just want this knife open. Yeah, fun knife Friday. Ah. Yeah. It's a big one. Ah. Fun knife Friday. Break out your Navajo, guys. Bet your mind's bigger. Navajo. And today we're gonna to be getting lucky with the lucky lady. Yeah. Feel like I should be wearing leather instead of a tropical shirt, but what the heck. At least I got my sunglasses on. And here we go. Here she is. There she is. The lucky lady. See that? If not, you'll see it better in the, uh, in the slideshow. Got a little naked lady hiding behind or standing in front of their flaming steel dagger. And she's got dice at her feet and an eight ball above her head along with the royal flush because she's the lucky lady. Luck be a lady tonight. Wonderful little stiletto. Yeah. Nine inches of flaming steel. Everybody needs a naked lady knife in their collection. Why not get one that's a lucky lady knife? This knife is seven times more lucky than your standard stiletto. The lady luck. Getting lucky. Whatever Revel Edge wanted to call it. Yeah, there you have it. And you got her on both sides. Both sides. She can dance, dance right in front of you. Dance right in front of that dagger. Ooh, baby, yeah. I tell you what, this knife had to be a big hit with a bunch of 18 year old boys who are, you know, not able to get a good date on a Saturday night. But it's a fun knife Friday night for sure. Hey Skip, uh, sorry about this, but uh, we're running a little uh, short here. Uh, you're gonna need to stretch it for about another three minutes. Yeah, Tobias said I didn't say enough. It was only like three minutes of talking about the lucky lady, but I was having fun. But apparently I wasn't having enough fun. I need to have at least uh, five minutes of fun with the lucky lady. So two more minutes of talking about this wonderful knife here. Like I said, man, it's, a, it's stainless steel all throughout, but not just any stainless steel. This is the Rebel Edge flaming steel throughout the knife flaming steel and then uh got the uh royal flush up across the top there and the eight ball and the eight ball looks like the pommel of that big old long dagger that the lady's dancing in front of it she's got red high heel shoes on and uh her hair is covering up her naughty bits Kind of like the way the deck of cards here is covering up the naughty bits on that deck of cards. You got her on both sides, so wow. And the action on here, well, look at that. That's the way you want your lady to be. 
is getting lucky. Lucky Lady Knife has some really tight action with some really strong lockup. Last thing you want with your Lucky Lady is uh, be all sloppy when it's open. This one, you know, it's nice and tight when it's open. There's no sloppiness in this blade. Yeah, this blade is strong. It's stiff. It's good. That's the way you want your blade to be. Ah! Now, as soon as you feast your eyes upon this glorious knife, you're going to know why it belongs at the Volcano Club. Let me show it to you. Is that not gorgeous? It's the uh, Navajo Mountain Lion Knife by Ben Nighthorse. I think he's the one who designed it. Came on this plaque and everything, so it's already been mounted. But you know what I'm thinking? Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. It's right there. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that. It's a mountain lion. And what are mountain lions called? They're called cougars. It's a cougar knife. And I tell you what, this knife is going to attract a few cougars. And let's face it, what nightclub is not complete without a cougar or two? And as long as you're gonna have a nightclub with cougars, why not have a cougar mounted on the wall? And so, and why not have your own cougar knife? Because I tell you what, this is going to definitely attract a few cougars out there. Look at that wonderful blade. You just imagine telling hey, cougar over there, I got eight inches of business for you. They're going to be happy. They're going to want to see your eight inches. And there it is. Look at that. Two inches thick, too. That's got some real heft to it. Two inches thick, eight inches long of business on this cougar knife. Is that not gorgeous? That beautiful cougar pommel. Looks a lot better than most cougars you're gonna find in a nightclub, I'll tell you that much. Rawr, rawr. It's gonna make some noise with my cougar knife for sure. Yeah, and I can't believe it. He said he paid 18 bucks for a cougar. Now I can see why he paid 18 bucks for a cougar. A cougar that looks this good yeah, it's worth the 18 bucks any day of the week. And you can see this $18 Cougar at the Volcano Club. It needs to be seen. Everyone wants to see an $18 Cougar at the Volcano Club. You know, I was out there in Vegas and you, how many of you guys out there, show of hands, how many of you heard of that gold and silver pawn shop that's like on the, the History Channel. I think they call it Pawn Star or something and they they always talk about that great pawn shop out in Las Vegas. Well, I wasn't there, but I did go to the uh, pot metal and plastic up there in Oswego and you should see the knife I got from Sid up there. <laughs> well, you're going to see it because it's my fun knife Friday knife. <laughs> and here it is. Came with this wonderful a nylon sheath, genuine nylon. It's a genuine nylon sheath. And this is a Jim Frost original. Jim Frost original. Uh, it's the Undertaker 3. Because he had to try three times to get it right. But talk about one mean nasty knife for a fun night Friday. You know this crap up here, all these uh, things up here? Those are all sharp. It's like a got one, two, three, four, five, five line cutters there, and then you got the, ooh, I almost cut myself. You got that serrated portion up here. And look at that, one blade, big old knife, 16 inches long, look at that crossover. Look at that, look at how they slanted that uh, cross guard there. You got that big old pommel down there, they got the eagle pommel, ooh, yeah, big old knife, or big old man. 16 inches of Fun Knife Friday we're going at you right here with the Jim Frost original Undertaker 3. And it's got to be a classic now because Jim Frost died. And you know how much I paid for this up there at the uh, Pop Metal and Plastic? $5.50. Talk about a steal, huh? <laughs> well, I think it's a steal. Well, it don't bend. 
And I bet you anything it's gonna be great slicing up watermelon. Yeah, buddy. The Jim Frost Undertaker 3 for Fun Night Friday. But now, there you have it, boys and girls. Thanks for dropping by. Which was it? Was it the Undertaker buoy? Was it the Cougar Knife? Woohoo! Cougars! The big old Navaha! Yeah. Gotta flip that one out one more time, don't we? We just gotta flip her out one more time. Navaha! Ooh. And of course, we got the naked lady stiletto. Luck be a lady tonight. And finally, the very first episode we did featuring Brian Wilhoit's High Roller. Which was your favorite? Leave it in the comments below. Looking forward to hearing what knife you thought was greatest. Maybe next week we'll talk about a dive knife. There you have it, Knife Chatters. Another fun knife Friday in the books. Remember, if your knife's not fun, you're doing it wrong. Skip out. If your knife's not fun, you're doing it wrong, and skip out our registered trademarks of Skip to Show Enterprises. This has been a Cat Production presentation. All rights reserved.